Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC Cheers for checking out the channel today and thanks for joining us Right, we are on the Fylde Coast this morning and we are at Ray Green at Ray Villa and uh, come down for the uh, classic car show they've got on this weekend and we're out with the Land Rovers today nice mix of vehicles here so we're going to take a walk down the lineup and have a look what's here now starting with this one this is a series 2a forward control this is owned by Jim Gardner who runs uh, Leaf Sprung Landis and LSL 4x4 well-known vehicle and I think at some point this is uh, having some more uh, restoration work it's recently had if I'm right and uh, an engine uh, an engine change uh, if I'm if I'm wrong, Jim, if you see the video, let me know. I've not seen you for a while properly, but uh, maybe catch up with you later. So we'll carry on down the line. And this is another well-known uh, vehicle at the uh, car shows within the Series 2 Club. And at the local shows, it's excellent uh, modified uh, Series 2A into a former ambulance that's been converted into a camper. So always good to see this. I think it's uh, ace. I love seeing these... Uh, well used but modified vehicles fit for purpose and uh, yeah always good seeing things like this out at the shows so moving on we've got a late series 3 Land Rover short wheelbase and I don't know this vehicle as such but it looks like quite a uh, recent restoration so, Looks, uh, looks rather nice. I could be wrong, it might be an older restoration, but it looks in fine settle. And I say, uh, you, it's, uh, I say it's a late Series 3, looking at, well, well going off the uh, registration plate. And as well, if you follow me around to the back, I'll just pop round here. As you can see on the back there, you've got the indicator lights, which are further down the, uh, the rear tub brackets there and this is uh, partly due to the crossover of when uh, the uh, the uh, 90s and 110s were going to start to be produced as I say this is a late series 3 so it must be around 83 to 84 I'm guessing that so very nice also here now I'm going to show you the back first as you can see 88 inch series 1 Land Rover now this is a fresh restoration um, mainly can tell because the wheels are really really highly painted and if we look closer here you can see that this chassis I mean, has been recently restored and it looks like it's got a, a really good coating of overtroll or something similar on it you can see there but I love the look of this this is uh, definitely within that sort of patina sort of look it's obviously been painted a few colours in its past, but uh, yeah, I really like this. As I said, this is an 88-inch Series 1. Um, you can tell there, looking by the uh, the front radiator panel, the uh, vents uh, here, um, extra holes were uh, covered up, and it's just got the one central uh, radiator um, cut out there in the grill. Also, as well, you know, you can tell, usually there is a... A, uh, a bolt in there but uh, that's an 88 inch wing on the 86 they are closer to the oh, wheel arch now but yeah very nice I love I uh, love all the sign writing on it as well let's have a quick look at that it looks rather cool digging that love it so yeah I like seeing vehicles like this very nice I think that's rather cool it's got to be uh, one of my favourites so far in the lineup. Okay, moving on now. Again, this is a vehicle owned by John Hayes, Series 2 Club. And uh, this is his uh, Westmoreland uh, Fire Brigade Fire Tender long wheelbase. And I uh, <laughs> can't remember now. Yeah, it is a Series 2A. I was just checking them, I'm looking at the, uh, the vent switches. <laughs> And of course, well, it's uh, very nice. It all works. All the pumps worked. I've seen this uh, being demonstrated at previous shows. But yeah, I say, well, again, 
localist vehicle and well known at the uh, Series 2 club and local uh, classic car shows. But yeah, so it's cool. I don't think we'll be getting a demo of it working today though. <laughs> right, okay. And we've got a, another Series uh, 2A long. Is it Series A? Yes, yeah, Series 2A uh, series long wheelbase uh, Land Rover finished in uh, limestone and also. I don't know if this it was supplied by RJ Searle Limited. Now, Searle did a lot of camper conversions and modified vehicles for various purposes. Now, so I don't know if this was a former sort of camper conversion or it's just one that they uh, they had through their hands. I don't know, but uh, yeah. I hope you haven't told anybody I've been in ambulance. <laughs> hey? I hope you haven't told anybody I've been in ambulance. <laughs> because it was. That's what everybody guesses that I've been in ambulance. Right. It hasn't well, it's, it's never been one, has it? No. Oh. Well, if I mentioned it, I'll hold my hand up. My bad. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so yeah, can't. Cons yeah, so obviously I've made a mistake there. The owner just told me it wasn't an ambulance. My bad, I honestly thought it was. <laughs> okay, moving down the line up here, this is Steve Pickles, ex Dutch, um, a lightweight. So, really, really good original condition. This, um, I seem to remember this being bought or um, or the deal was done for it recently. Well, a few years back now at Final Vintage uh, Land Rover Show, uh, classic car show. Sorry, but. Um, yeah, so it's always good to see out. Steve had this out last weekend as well at the Stanley Park car show in Blackpool, which we were there for. So, yeah, but uh, yeah, Series 3 light, lightweight ex Dutch, but it is in super condition. You know, really good. Really good. And again, Steve, who well, filed Land Rover services. Uh, really does uh, look after his vehicles well and maintains them. Okay, so moving on right now, this is a Series 2. Again, another nicely turned out vehicle, it's not one I'm particularly familiar with. Just notice it's got a limestone wheel on top. Um, but yeah, nice Series 2 there. And it's got that earlier front valance panel there as well. But very nice. And again, um, I know this, well, I say know this vehicle. It's a vehicle that I recognise. This is Dot. It's often to refer to. This is a uh, short wheelbase station wagon. It's got the uh, the limestone wheels and uh, roof. This uh, was in not that long ago at uh, least from Landis, having some uh, some remedial work fitted to it. So yeah, it's a Series 2A station wagon, short wheelbase. But yeah. Again, one you see a lot of the shows, but it's a, a lovely, lovely, uh, cherished vehicle. Okay, and let's have a look at this one as well. Uh, I think we're looking at, yeah, another Series 2A. Oh, is it a Series 2A? I don't know. Actually, I'm looking at it now. It might be a 3. No, nope, no, nope, I'm talking absolute rubbish. Just ignore me. It is a 2A. It's got Series 3 hinges on there. It threw me for a second. <laughs> yeah, series uh, series two A. Okay, so yeah, really nice uh, lineup of vehicles so far. You can see if I pan pan down the uh, the lineup there. Okay, well uh, I know this vehicle pretty well. This is uh, my dad's ex uh, Australian. Um, Long wheelbase, uh, early 1958, so it's one of the the last of the uh, series ones to be made with it being a, a 1958 model. So this is uh, before the series two uh, came into production later on in the year. I say this was uh, recently uh, recently restored. It's probably about a year ago now, and. Uh, yeah, uh, in fact, it's probably featured in a couple of my videos already, but I really do like this. Probably biased because it's my dad's, and I did uh, I did help him with a bit of work on it. But uh, this one, I say, it's just been mechanically gone through, and uh, the body, uh, 
sort of tidied up, fixed where necessary and uh, put back on. Now one thing that has been done which you don't seem to see very much is, if you notice here, if you haven't seen this vehicle before, the rear tub. Usually the rear tub will come sort of up here. Now it's been cut down to the same height as a, a regular uh, short wheelbase um, body on a normal like uh, normal sort of short wheelbase Land Rover as you can see on this 86 model there this body now sits at that height and it's had a uh, bespoke um, tilt canvas tilt fitted from uh, under cover covers as well but yeah yeah really nice vehicle it's had some modifications to it it's got a two and a quarter engine in um, it's got parabolic springs on it there is and um, I have other videos on this which I'll link in the description and uh, it goes into more detail about what was uh, done to the vehicle but yeah really uh, really nice nice vehicle I say I'm slightly biased and then um, moving on uh, and this is uh, this is my heap uh, this is uh, my Land Rover that I've owned for about the last five or so years originally owned by my dad so this is RGC 917 um, 86 inch series one uh, late 55 build 56 model year and you can see just a quick go over it it's got a uh, capstan winch fitted there at the front it's got this really uh, well you don't see too many of them it's got a chaff guard fitted here as you can see it stops all the chaff getting in behind here and blocking things up so it's got this chaff guard it's just quite a, a rare accessory these days and you see my little Leslie Dorsey there, sat waving, hello. So, come around here. Also as well, we've got a rear power takeoff fitted to the vehicle. Fully functions, all works. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I won't keep on uh, witching about my own vehicle, but yeah, um, it's been in the family now for about 30 years. Originally, uh, say my dad uh, built this vehicle up. This actually came not too far away from here in Nutsford, and uh, yeah, uh, it's still being used a lot today. Okay, so moving over to the last few vehicles now. And we've got a uh, so Series 3 short wheelbase. Is it station wagon again, or is it just. I don't know if it's a station wagon, I've probably made a mistake here. Um, it looks to be a station wagon. It's got all the seats in the back. And there we are, just to uh, confirm it there, you've got your station wagon badge. So yeah, station wagon series three. Not like a nicely used vehicle. It's good to see these vehicles being used. Okay, last few in the lineup. Okay, and we've got a another series three there. I think this is a slightly earlier one than the one next to it. Okay. So yeah. And then coming to the last vehicle in the lineup, I like the look of this. This is also one of my favourites. Is this again? It's a Series Two as well. And it, it, it's, it, you know, if it was a black and white picture, you'd certainly think it was uh, back on the farm. It's got that sort of, uh, without being disrespectful to the vehicle, it's got that sort of farm hack look to it, and I, I like that. I think it looks really good. I think that's really cool. I'm liking that very much. It's got the deep sills on as well. If you look <clears throat> inside, oh, it's got a, a little later deluxe seats in um, as well. And you've got that those, if you can see, those early style uh, vents. Well, yeah, it's, uh, so Series 2, it's a diesel as well because I've just noticed it there. So it's doing a quarter diesel as far as I'm aware. But yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what year it is. Well, it's, yeah, it is uh, Series 2. Right, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, I apologise if I've made any mistakes. I'm quite sure there's a few in there. I mean, I've not talked to any of the owners, so I'm just going off what I can see. So apologies if there is any mistakes in the video. Also, if there's something I've missed, please leave a comment below and let me know. Oh, I've got attacked by something. Right, so just a quick view of the line up there. Just see it there. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of the lineup at Ray Green, at Ray Villa, on the Fylde Coast, and this is the uh, sort of the Land Rover section of the car show. Right, okay, I'm going to go. 
thank you very much for checking this one out if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel and come find us on facebook and instagram under andy robinson rc right look after yourselves take care and we'll see you all very soon bye